Hi there. Thanks for stopping by Old Smoke and Steve's today. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to be uh, fixing up a pizza. It's going to be a good day. Pizza out on the bullseye and the wife's baking a key lime pie. It's going to be a great day. Amazon's not making a delivery, but uh, you know, we're going to make do without Amazon. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've cooked pizzas in the past on the uh, big green egg and uh, I really love the way they turn out. Uh, now on a big green egg, we had to use the egg expander to get that pizza high enough in the grill to uh, get that crust nice and crispy while getting that cheese nice and brown. And if you don't get it just right, you get it too low, that uh, crust is gonna get too crispy and that cheese isn't gonna get done. And then if you get it too high, that cheese is gonna get burnt and the crust isn't gonna get crispy for you. So uh, we're gonna give it a try today on the bullseye. Uh, I've never fixed a pizza on the bullseye before, uh, but I'm really loving this bullseye and the way it operates and it's so easy. Uh, now I'm thinking uh, we're not gonna have to lift that up in the grill in order to accomplish what we did on a big green egg because that kettle lid is not real high on that grill. It's fairly low and it's going to be uh, closer to the uh, grate and uh, we're just going to see what happens. Uh, so we're going to get this uh, uh, pizza all prepped up and ready to go. Uh, now I have seen uh, a lot of posts and some other videos where people like to uh, go ahead and get their vegetables and everything and go ahead and pre-cook them and then put them on the pizza and then put the pizza in the grill and uh, do it that way. But uh, at least on the big green egg, I was able to put everything on the pizza, throw the pizza in the grill and it came out perfect. So we're gonna give that a try on the bullseye today and see how it turns out. Uh, so be sure to hang in there and uh, and uh, we're going to put this thing to the test and see how it does. So let's get this baby all prepped up and ready to go. All right, here it is. We got all the ingredients on the uh, pizza here, ready to go. Uh, started out with our uh, pizza peel and we got some parchment paper here. And uh, then between the parchment paper and the pizza dough, we use some uh, cornmeal keep everything from sticking together and uh, we can get that off the grill nice and easy with that. Uh, then we the uh, dough, um, this particular dough, we the wife normally makes it, but uh, this particular one came from a, a grocery store named Detweiler's here in Sarasota. Detweiler's a nice little uh, store. They got a lot of fresh vegetables and uh, a lot of good stuff. And then we, uh, of course, put our uh, uh, pizza paste on there some uh, pepperoni, a little bit of sausage, some red peppers, some scallions, and a bunch of mozzarella cheese, and then top that off with some uh, Italian seasoning. And uh, she's ready to go. So we're just letting that grill heat up now, and uh, we'll be getting this guy on here in a minute. Okay, we're out here at the grill, and uh, I went ahead and put that uh, pizza stone in there. Uh, we want that to come up to temperature along with the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and close that lid and uh, get this grill started. And uh, we're gonna get the temperature up to uh, 450. Okay, we did have it on riot mode. Uh, I used it to uh, burn off the uh, all the drippings and uh, crud inside the grill. But uh, we've got cranked down to uh, 450 right now. And we're gonna go ahead and let that heat up. And uh, if we hit this, there's the uh, actual temperature of the grill, 89 degrees. And we'll go ahead and let that climb up to 450. And as uh, we're doing that, we're heating that stone up. So uh, let's let that maybe get nice and hot and then we'll be throwing that pizza on. Okay, we're just kicked back here. Uh, temperature's holding steady. Uh, it's showing uh, 449 right now. 
and the set point was 450 so it's hanging right in there within a degree or two uh, so it's been on there about 20 minutes and I've checked on it two or three times uh, that cheese is just now starting to turn brown and the crust is just starting to get crispy so it should be done here in a couple minutes and uh, we'll be pulling it off and uh, taking it inside and be doing a taste test so you don't want to miss that okay this pizza has been on here for about 30 minutes so we're going to open it up and take a look Okay, I got that pizza pulled inside here now. Uh, we let it cook for about uh, 30 minutes at 450, and the uh, cheese is just golden brown, the way we really like it. Uh, and I looked at the crust, uh, could be a little bit crispier uh, for us, uh, but uh, ne next time maybe I'll crank it up to 500 and uh, give that a try. But 450 looks pretty good, could be a little bit crispier. So we're gonna cut it up into little pieces here and I'm gonna be doing a taste test to check it out. All right, got me a little piece cut off here. That's what she looks like. Nice golden brown on the top. Crust, a little bit brown. Could be a little crispier for us, but uh, next time we'll try a 500 instead of 450. No big deal. We're going in. Mm hmm. Hot. Mighty good. That cheese. Oh boy. That's really good. That cheese took on a little bit of smoke. And it's uh, really tasty, and I'm really liking it. You guys, give us a try out on the bullseye. 450, 500, uh, kind of all depends on how thin that crust is. Uh, so give it a try, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.